All right. So let's see what's in the box. So the first thing I've got is, I don't know, from uh, Amazon, fulfillment services. So it's probably some junk that I ordered from Amazon. But let's see. So it's pull tab open. Now, I ordered a ton of stuff on Amazon. I mean, $200 worth of shit. Um, talking like, and I like Amazon. They ship pretty quick and uh, they get a lot of the stuff. You can, instead of looking around at like specialty stores for this fitting and that fitting and getting this, you can go on Amazon and you can order, a, fill your cart full of all the little odds and ends that you need in order to um, basically get it all done and out of the way at once. And then you can look for those few things that you can't find on Amazon or get shipped. The problem with APO, FPO shipping is that Amazon, a lot of sellers on Amazon will not ship to APO simply because of the USPS um, tracking slash insurance system. So that's one thing that sucks. I've had to call a lot of sellers individually and say, will you ship to me I'm at an APO? And 99% of the time I've gotten a response back saying, yes, we support the military, whatever the fuck and they will ship to an APO. So if you can't get somebody to ship something to you, that's always an option. So let's see what we've got. Wow. Ah, okay, so these are post clamps. These will be used for like fuel fittings and stuff like that. So nothing exciting there. Ah, okay, cool. So this is a Moroso stud kit, part number 38366. So this little kit right here, you can get it in pretty much any place, but these are little, I want to say six mil. Yeah, M6 studs. So there's enough M6 studs in here that you can put all studs on the oil pan. So instead of having to use bolts and potentially th strip out all the threads on the bolts, you can use studs on the oil pan because it's a common thing to strip out the bolts on the oil pan as soon as you're trying to tighten those little things up because the oil pan has a notoriously bad gasket. So a lot of people use silicone. You wanna go a little tighter with it. All of a sudden you strip out one of the bolts and you get a leak. So this is like 20 bucks. I can't remember exactly how much it is, 20, $25 or whatever. It's well worth it in my book. It's something that you only have to do once and then it's good for the lifetime of the engine. So this stud kit, it's cheap, little Allen inserts. It's gonna be pretty cool to install and have on there and know that I'm good to go. So that's definitely uh, 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 something that you're gonna want. So it does say 38366. It even says Mazda Rotary right on the description. So, and then what's this? Ah, oh, okay. And then these are little M NTP fittings. And these are 5 16th barb and quarter inch NP male NTP threads. So what I'm going to use these for is I'm going to be using these to delete the FPD or the fuel pressure dampener in the common fuel rail or the stock fuel rail because that oftentimes will leak. So I'm going to be running four times the 850 injectors. So the secondary injectors on the rotary are 850 cc. I'm going to be running four of them and I'm also going to be deleting the fuel pressure and dampener and installing these or installing one of these. The other one I might use on the other side. I'm not sure yet. So there's that. <clears throat> Next, I've got a box from Bonsai Racing. So I'm going to open this up with the fucking Apex seal that destroyed itself because these things are pretty sharp. I don't know if that will come into focus. But that's the Apex seal with the chip missing out of it. So might as well use it. I don't remember exactly what I ordered from Bonsai Racing, but the cool thing about APO, FPO shipping is that if you're ever unsure, you just look on the label and usually they fill it out. So it says pulley kit, steel plate, silicone hose kit. So there you go. Mama mama money shot. Yeah. Alright, so what's this? Letter from the company it says to ship stuff. A bunch of stuff is circled. Thank you, Dave, Elaine, Blair. 
I'm not sure what this is, but yep. So this was about $415. They ended up cutting me a break on some of the shipping um, later on. So instead of 35 bucks, it was 18 bucks to ship. So total $415 for all this stuff. This is the alternator, aftermarket alternator pulley and shim. Oh God. Oh, this is all the pulleys, okay. Hopefully the belt's not in there. Alright, cool. So I want the purple. And uh, as you'll see later on, that's kind of the theme of my build. Oh, these are really nice. So I got their aftermarket underdrive pulley set. <clears throat> uh, wasn't too bad. Comes with all the pulleys that you need. They're a little bit lighter than stock. The internet says that's good for like 18 horsepower. I highly doubt it. Um, but even if it's 18 crank horsepower, that's still, you know, maybe five horsepower. I, I don't think it's really good for that, but you know, rotating mass, it's always good. Alternator pulley, so yeah, pretty cool setup. Pretty stoked on this. Looks really good, so. I don't know how the fuck this goes. Anyways, yeah, pretty cool. So I'm doing the air pump delete. And uh, that's going to be something that I'm going to be doing on this engine, which is why I spent a little bit more money than I really wanted to, because in order to do an air pump delete, you need to do a lot of extra little things like idler pulleys, um, aftermarket exhaust all the way through, and just stuff like that. So it does add up. Um, so if you're going to do an air pump delete, hell, if you're building your engine, just think about what your end goal is and what you want to do now while the engine's out. So that's where I'm at with this build. So I've got, hopefully this is enough. So I've got their vibrant vacuum hose kit in black because other colors are really fucking ugly. Um, I'm hoping this is enough. I'm doing a lot of vacuum line deletes, but in case it isn't, I ordered a lot, like not a lot. I ordered 10 feet of 3.5 mil and 10 feet of a different size that's popular. Um, and hopefully between all of that, it's enough vacuum hose to get the whole entire, um, basically not rat's nest delete, but simplified because I'm not going non-sequential. I'm definitely going to stick sequential. So I still need to run some of these lines. So hopefully that's enough. And I've read good things about that. Nothing in there. Looks like a hose. Ah, okay. So we've got a hose. It's the 41 inch belt, part number 410K5, made by A1 Products. So it's a K Poly V belt. It's not really a V belt though. I don't know why it says V belt, because it's definitely not a V belt. So I'm going to focus in on that. That's what I got for a hose. Came with the kit, what was recommended. And uh, oh, this is their idler product, so I can find. Comes with some instructions. Thanks for buying the thing. And wow, that's really nice looking. So this is their idler pulley, which when you go and delete the air pump and you run a different pulley set, it doesn't put as much pressure on the water pump pulley, which means that you're not gonna get as good grab. And that can cause cavitation and slipping. So they recommend running this idler pulley. This alone was like $180 or $170. So another expense that you're gonna wanna think about when you upgrade. Um, I got this block off plate because it was the only one I don't have and I was considering at the time running non-sequential. I've thought about it, I've, I've, uh, I've prayed to the cow gods and Allah and Buddha and all them and uh, I've thought about it a ton, done a lot more research and I'm not going to go non-sequential. I like the pep, I like the kick, especially the low speeds here on island. So I'm not going to be using this Y plate block off, um, so, but I'll have it for future use. Anything off in there? Nope. That's it. Um, I appreciate you guys watching along. I'm sorry for the spotty updates and spotty basically uploads. Um, I've been things have been hectic. It takes a lot of time to edit these videos, even though it may not seem like it. And I keep them consistently at 20 minutes. I try not to do that, but I keep on doing it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with this. Leave comments. Let me know what you guys did when you rebuilt your engine if you did or what you might suggest i do while i'm in here um, i've got a lot of stuff planned 
tons of parts coming. I spent well over three thousand dollars on seals, gaskets, parts, and I'm doing a lot of stuff, including wiring, etc. So. I hope you guys stick with this. It's going to be spotty updates because I'm going to be spending most of my free time porting, building, doing extra, ex, uh, extra stuff like that. So stay with it. Thanks for watching. Leave positive comments. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think. If you fucking hate it, thumbs down. Tell me I'm a dumbass. Tell me you hate my car and my car's a fucking piece of shit and it's going to blow up. But, uh, you know, if you like these videos, share them, like them, comment. Um, all that stuff helps me keep wanting to post more videos in the future. So... Definitely keep it up um, with the positive comments, and I'll see you next time. Peace.